What's going on guys, Vic BP back with another Game Case Arcades video on this one today. I just added it. Check it out. Fightcade. Uh, so now real quick, I've noticed this program in the past and it actually was a very old program, but I just learned that they made a new beta uh, to this and basically I did add it uh, to Eugene's Arcade. Uh, the big thing that I do have uh, a couple people that even wrote to me on Instagram. Uh, let me actually give him a big shout out because he's the one that really pushed me to make it and check it out. His name was Kid Cash. Kid Cash on Instagram, man. Thank you, bro, for bringing this uh, to my attention. Apparently, it's a little bit difficult to set up, um, but I really did it real quick. And at the end of this video, I will teach you how to put this on any PC, really. Uh, so for the people that don't know what Fightcade is, basically um, it's a program that lets you play arcade games online against real people. Um, so again, I've had the old one. It's very old. It only had like 200 games. But apparently they have a second beta. It's called Fightcade 2 Beta. And um, it's very quick and easy to put, actually. Um, I'm going to show you real quick on uh, Eugene's build. So basically I'm going to launch it. We're going to get into a game. I'll do one game. Uh, and then I'll do a couple of things that anybody or even eugene could look at as far as inputs uh to change any inputs if anything but i do have this set up to the arcade sticks uh so now real quick i've noticed this program in the past and it actually was a very old program but i just learned that they made a new beta uh to this and basically i did add it uh to eugene's arcade uh the big thing that i do have uh, a couple people that even wrote to me on instagram uh let me actually give him a big shout out because he's the one that really pushed me to make it and check it out his name was kid cash kid cash on instagram man thank you bro for bringing this uh to my attention apparently it's a little bit difficult to set up um but i really did it real quick and at the end of this video i will teach you how to put this on any pc really uh so for the people that don't know what fight Kated, basically um it's a program that lets you play arcade games online against real people um, so again, I've had the old one. It's very old. It only had like 200 games, but apparently they have a second beta. It's called Fight K2 Beta, and um, it's very quick and easy to put, actually. Um, I'm going to show you real quick on uh, Eugene's build. So basically, I'm going to launch it. We're going to get into a game. I'll do one game, uh, and then I'll do a couple of things that anybody or even Eugene could look at as far as inputs uh, to change any inputs, if anything. But I do have this set up to the arcade sticks. Um, the only thing is that this certain uh, system is actually running, I think, six different emulators, I should say. Um, so you might have to configure um, a certain game or remap your input. So I'm going to show you that. I'm basically going to show you the steps that I take um, when I do launch this game and I play it. So, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to launch it. We'll, uh, you know, I'll show you the steps that I do as I get into a game. And then at the end of this video, I will show you how to install it and how to set it up. It's really easy. It literally took me about maybe 10 minutes. Uh, so right now I am not at the arcade, but um, I don't have my Xbox controller on. I'm pretty sure you could set up your Xbox controllers to work with this. I do use joy to key so it is mimicking uh, keyboard input. So this also does recognize joystick inputs. It's just my hyperspin setup. I have it set to, to joy to key. So the big thing with my fight cage, just like how my pinball FX programs are, is that it's launching the executable. So I'm going to press enter. You see the CMD come up, and basically right now our emulator is open. So it is here. It says here, welcome to fight cage. I literally have Eugene's mouse in my hand, so that's the, that's the actual bar top mouse that we're running from. Uh, basically, you could create an account. Uh, you, again, I'll show you at the end of it what you could do. I am logged in as VicVP, um, so basically... When Eugene gets this, he'll be able to just log in and create his own thing. It literally takes two seconds. There's no verifications and all that. So it's very easy. Uh, so the big thing here is um, there are a couple of games that do need Patreon. But those are games that, honestly, the, the most common fighting games that you will play doesn't need it. So this is what you're greeted with. Basically, you have this plus icon here. You press the plus. And then as you can see here, there's literally 7,000 games that you could search. Um, I downloaded a ROM set, and again, I'm going to link it at the end of this video. Um, there was a lot of games. You're talking arcade. I think there was a couple of Super Nintendo games. There was a couple of Sega games. Um, it's got a lot of games. I mean, you could look here, 7405. I'm only on one page out of it. So it's pretty cool. I believe the way this is set up is at the beginning of this whole like 
page you see here, it's listing it as far as games that actually have people in it. So you can see the little icon here. It literally says that there's 57 people playing King of Fighters. There's four people playing Street Fighter 2. There's five people playing Super Street Fighter. Um, so we're going to launch a game, and I'm going to put my headset down, and I'm actually going to go to the arcade to play it. But again, I'm going to show you the steps that I take. Um, again, though, this has a lot. Like, you could literally play, I believe you could play, like, The Simpsons. So, like, you could play The Simpsons Arcade. Unfortunately, there's nobody playing it. Um, but you also have, like, the Super Nintendo, look, the Mega Drive, the Game Gear 1, Super NES. It, it, it's all here. And again, the ROM set that I have, it has all these. It's only missing, like, two games out of the whole list that's here. Um, but again, let's focus. So, I'm going to show you the steps that I take and a couple things. It's really cool for what it is. So, let's launch street fighter 3 i'm going to click this join button here and then basically right here on the left is the room that i am in you could join multiple rooms and basically what's going to happen is that it'll ping when somebody actually challenges you to a game i want to play street fighter 3 to be honest so you go into your little game lobby and then on the right side here it literally tells you who's available to play and who's not so you could literally just double click and then you could actually challenge somebody um, to it. Uh, my camera is blocking it. Let me just hide my camera real quick so you could kind of see it. Hold on, I'm sorry. So you can see there, like you see here, I have challenged Taco the Noob. Um, so Lily says there, and now basically we're going to, we have to wait for him to accept our challenge. Um, but the big thing that I was saying is that for each game that you play, I do suggest that you do this kind of step. It's really quick. Just go to the top right and press test game. And literally, it's going to launch the game. The only kind of downside, not a downside in a bad way, but the best way to play this um, Fightcade is in this window mode. Um, I did try to do full screen, and like you have to keep pressing the left and right mouse to bring up the menu to exit it. You could always double-click this and just kind of bring it like that, but you will see at least the file and such here. So right now, I am in test mode, and the big thing I always urge that you do go to input, and then you map the game inputs. And then basically you just want to kind of make sure that your game inputs are correct. Because again, you could see that we are playing MSX, Super NES, the arcade, and such. So you just want to kind of make sure that that works. So basically you come in here. If I was at the arcade, this right now, the way I see player one, this is set. I don't have to touch this. You just have to touch this because arcade, I mapped it. So it's easy. So it's very easy. You literally just come here, you double click it, and then you literally push what key you want um so this again is it's very important that you have players one and two configured correctly because depending on who starts the game i'm going to be maybe player two or i might be player one so it's always good to make sure you have both mapped accordingly so just by looking at this my buttons are correct this is a link to my um uh, arcade stick so you always want to make sure that player one and player two is mapped correctly so i'm not challenging anybody um, I could go real quick to the arcade, but I won't do that because I do know um, that it's set correctly. So right now, if I'm going to exit, you literally have to take your mouse and then press the X. There is no escape. You just got to exit out. This is like its own PC program. Um, so right now, I'm going to just try to challenge somebody. And basically, we just have to see who accepts the challenge. I played uh, Street Fighter 2. Somebody was M. Bison, and I just got beat to shreds. Um, again... I build arcades. I'm not that good at the games, but, uh, you know, as far as getting them to work, it's pretty cool. So I basically will probably skip this um, to when somebody actually, you know, accepts a challenge. What's also cool that you can actually watch. You can watch somebody play. So I could literally double click this. As you can see, the emulator launches here. And it says I have one spectator, so I'm watching. And this guy right now is three and five right now. It's cool. Like I said, it's uh, pretty mind-blowing. The only difficult thing is waiting for somebody to join your game. But all in all, very cool experience. And this is definitely something where you can link up with your friends. You know, especially during COVID, you'll be able to link up. And again, I'll show you how to do it. It literally will take you maybe 10 to 15 minutes. It really depends on how fast your speed is to download the torrent. Uh, very easy stuff. And you can honestly watch and as you wait. Literally waiting for somebody to accept our challenge. I'm going to send out a couple of more invites. So we have eight people in the lobby waiting to play. 
And again, while you do that, you could always look for another kind of game. Let's look up maybe Street Fighter 2. Street Fighter 2 X, interesting. So looking to play, I'm just going to send out these emails. Emails, I'm going to send out these invites. <laughs> oh, I think I got something. Yep, I'm connected to somebody, so real quick. Oh, they exited. Oh, they left me. So I'm going to resend my uh, invites again. This guy actually wrote to me. He goes, Vic, I don't have that ROM. But we were able to launch. Look, he literally wrote to me. He goes, New Geo Master, is it the same than Fight Code 1? I think. I'm going to text him. Okay, so real quick while he's doing that, I'm going to just look at my inputs. I seem okay. I'm going to go now to the arcade. Okay, well, that took my beating. <laughs> I'm gonna bring back the webcam. And uh, as you can see, yes, I just got my ass handed to me. Um, I could all honestly, I could play with the uh, the keyboard here because I do have keyboard input. So, you know, if I was, you know, somebody that was just hanging out, you know, you could always do that. So I, right now, I'm getting my ass handed to me. <laughs> And as you can see, I am definitely not a King of Fighters fighter. So you can always look at your inputs, make sure everything is set. So I can see here, see my up and down and all that. So for example, in this game, I am player one. I'm just going to put your GG. <laughs> I'm horrible. And that's it. I mean, you could literally search a bunch of games. I'm pretty sure this does have Marvel vs. Capcom in it. Um, yeah, it does. Unfortunately, nobody's playing it. But again, as you can see, Fightcade. Amazing stuff. We were able to play it on the Arcade 6. Alright guys, so now in this part of the video, I'm going to show you the exact steps on what you need to do to get this thing installed, up, and running. It's literally so easy. The only thing that took time was downloading the uTorrent files. Other than that, super easy. So we're going to exit out of Hyperspin. And basically, we're going to load up Google, go to Google, and just put in Fight K2. Be sure to put the number 2. This way you get the beta, which is exactly what I did in this video. It's the beta version. It works perfect. So Fight K, and you're literally going to go to Windows, and you're going to save this file. Save it. It doesn't matter where you put it. You want to put it on the desktop. I have it in my emulators folder. It doesn't matter. Once you save it, extract it. When you do extract it, again, I have it set in my emulators folder. It's going to say this Fight K2. So it literally has everything already there. There's no install. There's no like setup exe. It's just there. It's very easy. You're halfway there. 
The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back into Google. And you're going to put Fight K2 ROM set. And again, I'll put the links down below. Uh, basically here, I'm going to go to the first one is Reddit. FBA.2.97.42. And in this is basically a mega link. You're going to click on this mega link. And you're going to download it. It should bring you into a uTorrent download. You do need uTorrent. It is a torrent. You need uTorrent. Once you press download, it's going to bring up uTorrent. Download everything that's inside of it. It's separated by folders, and it's not zipped. Um, so you can put it in the desktop, whatever you want. Once you have it downloaded and uTorrent is done, you're going to go into the folder that you downloaded in uTorrent, and you're going to literally select everything and copy it or cut it if you want. You're going to go into your Fight K2 folder. You're going to go into Emulator. You're going to go into FBA. And you are going to right click and paste. I have more folders than when it started. Once you press paste, everything is there. So you're going to see folders like Game Gear, Mega Drive in the uTorrent file. Paste it here. There's already a ROMs folder. It's empty. But once you paste it, it's set. The last step you have to do is that you go right here. There's FK, FBA. Double click it. You're going to go into miscellaneous. You're going to go into configure ROM paths. This is why it's so important to paste those files into this part because you don't have to actually set a directory. Just put it like that. Path number one is ROMs dash. It's within that folder. It will find it. The last thing, and it's already set, but it's always good to see, is path number 10. Or I'm sorry, path number 11 is MSX, SMS, Game Gear, SG1. Again, this is already set. It's already here. It's already set. Done. The next thing you're going to press OK. When you press OK, it's going to say scanning ROMs. Once it does scan and it's good to go, you're going to get back to the screen. You're going to go into game. You're going to go into load game. It should look just like how I have it here. On the right side, make sure you put show available. And you're going to see all of the games that this had. So this doesn't have all the games. It's missing a couple, as you could see. But aside from these like 10, you have all of these games within this ROM set. Literally, all these games are here within the ROM set. That's really it. You press play. You could test the game here if you want. I don't like to test it here, honestly. I would probably press cancel. And we're going to exit this. We're going to go back. We're going to go back. So the main folder, Fight K2, you're going to load up Fight K2. That's like the main game lobby that you saw me using before. And on the left side here, basically, you won't have these. This will be empty. You basically press play, or plus, I should say. And you're going to pick a game. For right now, because you guys just installed it, just pick a game. Press join. On the left side here, it's here now. And just press test game. Just to make sure it launches. If you have that, that's it. You're literally set. And again, like I did in the video before, go to your input, map the game inputs, and do your thing. Map it. You could map it to joysticks. You could literally do, you know, X arcade joysticks and such. So map it accordingly and you are ready to play. This right now is in test mode. So you have to exit test mode. And basically right now you're going to just challenge people. There is some people that are talking. You could always talk to them and stuff. And that's it. That's literally it, guys. Those are the steps that I did and I am up and running. So again, VicVP, Gamecase Arcade. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Vic underscore VP.